What's going on, guys? If you're new to the channel, I'm Beowulf. Man, we're back at it with another video. Now, what I talked about in a past video is what can you do fuel wise to put more fuel in this jet ski RXTX 300. So that'd be from like the 2018 to 2019 models. Now, you've seen the fuel jug that BRP C2 sells that hooks on the back onto the link system. I'm going to show you guys a mod how you guys can have 8 gallons of fuel adding plus the, uh, the C2 fuel jug. But also before I get all about all that, big news. It's a new giveaway. I got still a couple, a couple more of those vintage Bursa racing. Si I have size larges and then I think a couple smalls or mediums. I think it's mediums. Maybe a couple of smalls. Well, I'm going to do all different giveaways with that, but it's going to be another size large. There'll be a link in the description how to enter to get that. I'm going to probably have that one only last like three days, so I'll start right when the video is uploaded. Uh, I'll have that up for three days, so make sure you guys quickly enter to win that. Because, um, like I said before, I want to do about five giveaways a month. Also, too, Beowulf. Is gonna be doing Twitch. Now I got <laughs> I went yesterday bought whatever camera for my Xbox One X, and I found out you can't use that if you're going on Twitch. You have to use a Xbox Connect, which they don't longer make it. And I used to have a Connect when I got the when Xbox One first Xbox One well, yeah Xbox One first came out. I had the Day One edition and it had the Connect. And I, th I think I like recycled the Kinect because I was like, what? Well, I'm never going to use this thing again. I did it. I think when I moved down here to Myrtle Beach, I recycled it. And I'm realizing you need it to do Twitch on the Xbox One X. And then you need an adapter. So I did order that. So it's going to be up. I've done some test runs last night going live on there. So make sure it's I am Beowulf Gaming. I'll have the link in the description with that. Make sure, I don't know how it's set up, that you follow somebody, you subscribe, whatever it is, you watch the videos. And I actually have to say, I'm not, I don't suck at video games. I'm actually pretty good. Um, so I figure, you know, instead of being all private of when I play games, like I was playing uh, the new Call of Duty, the Zombies, I think it's IX, the one where it's a stadium. And I'm like actually really, really, really good at that. And I was thinking like, I should be showing people how good I am. I have people commenting on there like, how is he that good? When I'm playing on a chat or something. So I was like, I probably should do all this. And I got some other games and I'm probably gonna get into like the computer games. Right now I'm a Mac person. So you, I don't think you can play any of the computer games and I don't really wanna spend the money and get a whole com computer that's set up right now to play games. So, hey, I got an Xbox One X. I got fast internet. Let's do it. So make sure you guys do a follow there. Um, and also too, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram if you haven't. On there, I do a lot more uh, really cool action photos, or you know, like car related, jet ski related uh, uh, action photos that are uh, different than maybe what you might see on the YouTube. So make sure you guys uh, follow me on there. So let's get this video going. I'll show you guys what there is to do the mod. Pull these up. Let's go get the fuel jug. All right, got the fuel jug. This might be easier filming from this angle than last. And, then, and I did a whole video on reviewing uh, the Sea Dew fuel jug. Or they call it the fuel caddy. I call it a fuel jug. So you just slide in there. Boom. Um, lock it up. Just like if you were, you lock it on the side. All right, now when I've done this mod, I've not had the seat in here. I think it might fit, but let's, I'll first show you guys what I'm all doing here. Like, see, the thing is, is I like how this looks. I just, I just hate with the seat on the back because it feels like it's not like some race style jet ski when it has it. It's, but like when you look at, let's do a side by side. So you can see the RXPX, the seat sits farther back. Now you come right in here, but I'll have to say, if you look, See how much that, this sits up like a saddle, like a horse saddle. That's why I think that, what I th it reminds me the most of is this sim looks similar to like a horse saddle. 
um, and you got it here. And I just, I never like writing with this on here. I just, all the time, unless you have a passenger, you gotta take it with. Let's go get the fuel jug and I'll show you guys what you have to do to get this there. Have eight gallons of fuel. All right, so if you've seen the past video, I think this is a big pain in the butt to open this up to get fuel out, especially in rough water. So the best thing to have, you know, I would use this I would consider this jug is like worst case scenario. Like if this is this make it or break it to get home. You need to use it. I mean that's I would just carry it around just to carry it, just to have. It's just better to have it than not have it. I hardly ever even use it. I've probably used it like I said in the past video two to three times. Now I found this jug. Now the cool thing is this you gotta take it all apart to get in there. This one, you just pull, like I said in the past video, you pull the cap off, you press the nozzle like this, so you hold it up. There's no spilling. And then when you're riding, you can just fold it in like this. There's five gallons right here. I really like this jug. I mean, it's awesome for filling, because when you have the fuel cap that's like right underneath, when you pull up this panel, it's right underneath there, it's straight down. I mean, you're not spilling anything and it's, it's awesome. Um, now, getting about this video, this isn't this mod is not going to work with having the seat on the back. I th when this is how it looks, it's going to look so awesome. So what we're going to do is let's pop the let's pop the seat off. All right, so I got the seat on. Put it right over here. It's going to sit there for this. All right, so. Here we go. We got a lot more room to play with. This is what I love. This jet ski more than this other one. Here's all this space. You got a lot of deck space, a lot of room. And it's actually nice when you have it like this. And when you're riding by yourself, you can just have a lot of room to maneuver around in the back here. Um, especially when you're tying it down. A lot of people don't realize when you're doing the tie downs on this and you got the other seat in the back, and especially with the field jack here, it's really hard to get to this. Uh, you don't want to leave the tie down on it when you're um, riding because it'll get sucked up in the jet and all that. It's not a smart idea. All right, so here we go. So you got the fuel jug. You put it like so. Now, it's not going to sit there by itself, obviously. So I'll show you guys the next mod what you need to get. And also, too, I got this fuel jug at Walmart, which pretty much everybody has a Walmart to go buy at. So it's pretty straightforward to buy. It. And even the tie down or the little bungee straps I got from Walmart. If people want to know the length, I can measure it. I don't, well, look, I'll measure it right now. Let me get the tape measure on. We can just measure it, make it easy. So nobody has a question to ask about it. Let me get my tape measure. It's like 31 inches long. So that's what you need. You don't want it any shorter. You want it, you don't want any one longer than that. All right, so what you gotta do next to, to mount this. This is also too, it's gonna be harder to do the tie down on the back with, um, once you do this too. So this is all the taking effect, but once this is all hooked up, no matter what, it's not gonna move around if you have it strapped correctly. So the first thing you have to do is, so if, if you didn't have the, um, the post for doing like pulling somebody with a ski or a tube, it would go into there and then it would mount into here. So what you're gonna do is use these little holes right in here. Let's see if I can do this all one-handed. So what you wanna do is put the strap in through here Right? So make sure it's hooked on there. Now what you want to do is, let me figure out the best time I'm going to do this one-handed. Because there's I, the fuel is empty in there, so there's no weight. All right, I did, I'm going to put down the camera to do this. So I did the strap here, so this is the first strap. It wraps around itself right there. Comes here. So you can see it's it's getting halfway sturdy. Now I'm gonna walk around on the other side to make this a little bit easier. All right, so here we go. Gonna do it the same way as the other one. Put it through here. This might be easier to do one-handed. Put it in like that. All right, here we go. Now we go under, under this the black part of the fuel jug. Pull it as far as you can, boom, it's right in. Look at this. It's going 
nowhere. But you have to crisscross it like this, otherwise it will move. Now, what's nice with this is there's no like straps. You easily can pull it all off. And when you go get fuel, if you need to quickly fill it up, you don't even have to take it off when you're filling like your marina and stuff like that. So basically with this, I mean, it's funny because when I ride with this, people think I'm on a, like an expedition, but sometimes when I travel really far, I mean, you need this much fuel to get somewhere. Now this is nice is this is real sturdy. You, I don't know how it's gonna work if you just did it, just the fuel jug by itself. It's gonna flop all around because this is, this is solid in here. It's not going anywhere and it makes it one whole piece, especially with the weight. Now I'll tell you when you ride this and you turn the trim all the way up and this is full of fuel, it's a lot more weight. So you actually get a lot more air. That's why some people comment in past videos like how much air I was getting when I launched is because it's a lot of weight just sitting right in the rear of the jet ski. But you could use the toast or the tie down in the back. It just makes it harder or you can always just tie, actually to be honest, you wouldn't even have to tie over here. You could tie, wrap it right through here and just tie right off the side right there. But I have to tell you, this is how on a 2018 or 2019 RXTX or any of the RX, RXT models, you can basically be having eight gallons of fuel. And I'll tell you, it's so nice to have that kind of option because when you're looking at the deck of this jet ski, how much fuel can you put on there? Now they got the new bracket thing coming, but you gotta remember it's like, it's gonna, this type of style bracket's gonna mount right in here. Now you have the deck where it says sea so you're gonna jeopardize this of how it's gonna look. Um, I'm gonna do in another future video, probably in the next video after this, talking about how you can put more fuel on this fuel jug without drilling the jet ski. It's a real easy thing to have another five gallons on this thing real fast. Because you remember when you drill this, if you're thinking, you know, I've had people in my videos saying, well, I'm gonna drill my RXPX, I'm gonna have the fuel jug like the RXTX came like. It's only three gallons of fuel, that's not a lot. I could take the same style fuel jug, put it on the back here and you have five gallons you don't have to drill you it's really easy to do all you have to do is buy the little supplies they have it and you're ready to go you don't have to drill i've even done it before where i mounted 10 gallons of fuel in the back of this thing it's just a big pain in the butt to take off when you have to use it but i have been able to put 10 gallons of fuel on this even more fuel on this than i was able on to the rxtx so that'll be in a future video probably the next one like i said after this now this is really sturdy. It moves around a little bit right now because it's empty. There's zero fuel in, the, in there right now. Um, but this is usually how I ride. Where I've been doing my last couple of videos going on the ocean, the one spot, I don't need any of this fuel. I'm only out there probably use less than half a tank of gas and I'm back. Other places where I go, I for sure am using this in a ride, uh, especially with the hours now. Marinas are, I don't even think they're hardly even open once the waterway is reopened. Uh, and, the, and when it's the, the season, the marinas are open up on the weekends, I think the eight o'clock at night. So um, you get a lot of fuel in it. And this is just kind of once a time thing filling. But basically this is how you put eight gallons of fuel in an RXTX 300. And I have to tell you, it's a pretty wicked setup. It looks awesome. Just, just from, look at this angle right here. I mean, you see somebody riding, you're kind of going to be like, holy cow, what is this person up to? And uh, this is the setup. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hope this opens light up to what you can do fuel wise. I mean, this is, if I was going, plan to go down to Florida and stuff and go into the ocean. This is my setup. And probably somehow you could rig on this to mount another fuel jig somehow here. That's basically what would be pretty cool is you mount another one, you got 10. So you got 13, lucky 13, uh, <laughs> 13 gallons on the back of the jet ski. And it's nice to have this kind of setup. You know, the curious thing is if you can take another one of these and mount it on the top of here, and then basically then you would even have 11 gallons of fuel. You know, think of that. And it's, uh, make sure you guys t take a take a look or on Twitch, the future videos I got going on with that. But I think this is about it for today's video. Um, 
If you guys have any questions about it, just leave me a comment in the bottom, or you can also too, I know the hard thing, I've seen a couple of people comment, is I try my best to, to reply back to all the comments on um, YouTube. I do respond to DMs on, on Instagram, if it's some you know, like question you have. You know, the hard thing is when you see so many comments at the bottom, I try my best to get them all done. And uh, if you see, I, I get there, you know, I get on it. Sometimes it, it might take me a couple days, but I do reply back to everybody. So I just want to get that straight with some people. I've seen somebody comment saying, I think I'm too good to comment. And that is not true at all. It's, um, I have to give that another future video. I basically had to do this big move with my business. My main, well, it was my main business. I had to do this big move and that's what's been taking up the last couple of, uh, like where I've been posting a lot, been dealing with trying to get that all squared away, which I'll talk about all that in another future video. I don't want to be going on it too much. But it's the end of the video. If you hadn't hit that subscribe button, I appreciate it if you do, if you're new to the channel. Like I said, I'm Beowulf. I'll be back at it with another video. And to my existing subscribers, I appreciate it. It's, I appreciate the love and the support. I'm trying to build this in a big YouTube channel. It's a lot of work. And um, keep grinding to keep on going. But hey, I'll see you guys in the next one. And tomorrow, it's supposed to be like 80 degrees. And uh, I'm going, I'm taking this riding. I think I'm going to take out the RX TX 300 because the last time I drove the RX PX. But I don't know, I'll have to figure out because um, it looks like it's going to be some, it's going to be a chance of rain, but it's going to be halfway decent warm, but I don't need the wetsuit. I'm still going to pack it with because last time I went riding, man, I was cold. So it's the end of the video. I'll see you guys back in the next one. Peace out.